हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू लेट्स शूट अकाउंटेंसी सो इन प्रीवियस टू सेशंस ऑफ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म फंडामेंटल्स वी सॉ व्हाट इज पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म फीचर्स ऑफ पार्टनरशिप एंड आल्सो द प्रोविजंस ऑफ इंडियन पार्टनरशिप एक्ट देन इन सेकंड सेशन वी सॉ व्हाट इज प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अप्रोप्रिएशन अकाउंट हाउ इट इज प्रिपेयर्ड एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन चार्ज अगेंस्ट प्रॉफिट एंड अप्रोप्रिएशन ऑफ प्रॉफिट सो नाउ स्टार्टिंग विद टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द मेथड्स ऑफ पार्टनर्स कैपिटल See, in partnership firm, there are more than one owners whom we call as partners. So, for each partner, a separate account is maintained because each of these partners have separate transactions with the firm, like capital introduced. There can be drawings, there can be share of profits, losses, or there can be any other transaction between the partner and the firm. So, for each partner, separate capital accounts are maintained. But for this capital account, there are two methods which can be followed. either it can be fixed capital method or fluctuating capital method now under fixed capital method there are two accounts which are prepared partners capital account and partners current account and under fluctuating capital method only one account is prepared which is partners capital account so now let's study these two methods in detail starting with the first one fixed capital method so now in fixed capital account method the first account which is maintained it is partners capital account in this whatever capital the partner has introduced into the firm is recorded and this balance remains same year after year unless there is any additional capital which is introduced into the firm by the partner which is credited or there can be any withdrawal of capital that is drawings against the capital so if there are any withdrawal of capital by the partner from the firm it would be debited in this account If there is no additional capital, if there is no withdrawal of capital, then whatever opening balance of partner's capital account is there will be carry forward as closing balance, and it remains same year after year. So that is first partner's capital account, and remaining all other transactions between the partners and the firm will be recorded in partner's current account. So now, if we see the partner's current account, firstly we'll have the opening balance. Now in current account, we can have either a credit opening balance. or a debit opening balance then if there any interest on capital see we have understood the meaning of interest on capital which is when a partner introduce capital into the firm firm has to pay interest to the partner if there is any provision regarding the same in the partnership deed so that interest on capital which is an expense for the firm the first effect we have seen in the previous session that it goes to profit and loss appropriation account on the debit side and the second effect of that interest on capital would come over here on the credit side of the partner's current account then if there are any salary payable to the partner if there are any commission payable to the partner it will also be credited in partner's current account if there are any drawings so it would be debited over here if there are any interest on drawings it would also be debited in the partner's current account and after finalizing the profit after deriving the profit of the firm for the period and when the profit is shared between the partner the share of profit or loss would also be recorded in this current account so if there are profits it would be credited if there are losses it would be debited so all the transaction between the partner and the firm would be recorded in this partner's current account so we can prepare column uh, partner's capital or current account for the presentation purpose but actually the separate account is maintained for each of the partner capital and partner's current account So in partners' current account, opening debit or credit balance, whatever is given, then interest on capital, salary or commission to partner, credited, share of profit, credited. If there are any drawings, debited. If there are any interest on drawings, debit. And if there are any share of losses, it would be debited. And finally, there would be a closing balance. Either it can be closing credit balance, where credit side is higher than the debit side, or it can be closing debit balance, where debit side is higher than the credit side. See friends, over here in partners' current account, you can have either credit or debit balance because, uh, say suppose there are losses in the firm which is debited in partners' current account, or any partner has made any excess drawing that would also be debited. So if your debit side total is higher than the credit side, there can be a debit balance in partners' current account. So in case of partners' capital account, there would be always a credit balance because there would be a the partners capital balance there can be additional capital and there can be withdrawal of capital but that would be out of capital only so you can not have any debit balance in case of fixed capital account method in partners capital account 
but current account there can be debit or credit balances see if there are credit balances it will be presented on the liability side of the balance sheet if there are debit balance then it would be presented on the asset side of the balance sheet so that is about where these partners capital and current accounts are presented or returned in the financial statement if it is credit liability side if it is debit on the asset side of the balance sheet so this was about fixed capital account method see the name itself tells you about the method fixed capital account so capital account balance remains fixed year after year unless there has any additional capital or withdrawal capital but which are not very uh, usual transaction or very other transaction which takes place every year not like not every year partner will introduce money into the business so this capital account balance remains fixed and all the other transactions are recorded in partner's current account so this was about the first method now going to the second method which is fluctuating capital account method so now when we talk about fluctuating capital account method there is only one account which is maintained which is partner's capital account and all the transaction between the partner and the firm would be recorded in this one account only so it is like a combined account of a uh, fixed capital account method where capital account is separate and current account is separate so we combine over here in one account only so there would be opening balance debit or credit balance which is brought forward from the previous year if this is the first year of the business then there would be no opening balance then there can be additional capital which is credited if there is any withdrawal of capital it would be debited if there are any drawings debited if there are any interest on capital which is credited salary or commission given to the partner credited if there are any interest on drawings it would be debited lastly the profit share is credited in partner's capital account and if there are any losses which is shared between the partner it would be debited see friends we have studied in class 11 how this debit and credit happens in capital account if capital account balance increases it it is credited so if there is any opening capital if there is any additional capital interest on capital salary or commission given to the partner share of profit given to the partner the capital balance increases it is credited but if the capital balance decreases it is debited so drawings interest on drawings which is charged on the partner losses that would decrease the capital balance and that is why it is debited see we have studied that interest on capital interest on drawing salary or commission to partner the second effect of these transaction goes to pnl appropriation account so one we have studied in pnl appropriation account in the previous session so if you have missed that session do check that out and the other effect would come over here in partners capital account and finally after posting all the transaction you can have closing debit or credit balances if there are huge losses if there are more drawings there can be a possibility of closing debit balance otherwise generally we always have a closing credit balance and this balances are again presented in the balance sheet so if it is a credit balance it is written on the liability side of the balance sheet if it is debit balance then it is written on the asset side of the balance sheet and one more important point in your exams if they don't specify which capital account method is to be followed then we always follow fluctuating capital account method so we prepare only one account post all the transaction related to partners in one account only there would be no two accounts like capital and current so in the absence of any information follow fluctuating capital account method only in your exam so now if we just quickly revise the two methods of partners capital account in fixed capital account method two accounts are prepared capital current in capital account we have opening balance of capital additional capital or there can be withdrawal of capital all the other transactions related to partners are posted in partners current account so separate accounts are maintained capital and current and in case of fluctuating capital method only one account is maintained and all the transaction with the partners is posted in this account only so that was all about the partners capital account this is very important while solving the sums you must know that in which account you have to give the effect if you are passing any journal entry if there are current account then transactions like interest on capital interest on drawings share of profit loss would be recorded in partners current account but if the method is fluctuating capital method then everything would be recorded in partners capital account now before we end the session there is a question for you to test your understanding so the question is a and b are the partners of the firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio 2 is to 1 capital balance of a and b is 80000 and 60000 respectively on 1st april 2022 drawings of the partners for the year ended 31st march 2023 are 
A ten thousand, B six thousand. Net profit for the year is forty thousand two hundred before taking following into consideration. So interest on capital is given A three thousand two hundred, B two thousand four hundred. Salary is payable to B two hundred per month. Interest on drawings A five hundred, B three hundred. Prepare profit and loss appropriation account and partners capital accounts. So from this question, you need to prepare P and L appropriation account. And partners' capital account, P&L appropriation account, we have studied in the previous session. That is part two of this chapter. So you can check out that video. And for just to verify the final answer, write down your answers in the comment box. That you need to find out the share of profit of each partner and capital balances of partner A and B as on 31st March 2023. So for your practice, you try to prepare P&L appropriation account and partners' capital account, and You, the final answers which you get the share of profits of a and b and final capital balance closing capital balance of a and b you can answer in the comment box below and if you have any other doubt that also you can ask us in the comment below friends will be coming up with the more videos on this topic and on our class 11 accountancy so stay tuned you can also check out our website www.letstude.com where there are many accountancy and other courses are available at very affordable price so do check that out and stay tuned don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification for new videos which are uploaded on the channel so see you all in the next session thank you